Next question is from Joey Dominic 41. I'm about to finish MAPS Anabolic and am feeling great. I want to start MAPS Aesthetic. Should I take any time off in between? No, oh, it's perfect progression. You know, the, the programs, we design the programs like personal trainers first. Uh, we did not design the programs like marketers first. So, so let me explain, right? When we created these workout programs, the goal, the idea was to think about how, what would the average person need and then how would we progress them? Because working out and training your body is a lifelong pursuit. And through that lifelong pursuit, you learn what works for your body. You learn how to apply certain principles, how they work for you. You learn how to manipulate them and use them. You figure out how to use the tool of resistance training appropriately. And through that process means, if you want to really go through that process, means you work out many different ways with other goals in mind. And so our programs are meant to be followed one after another. MAPS Anabolic is a very good foundational strength and muscle building program. Like it's a very, very good, solid foundational program for strength and for muscle building. MAPS Aesthetic is like MAPS Anabolic, just much more advanced. So if you've done MAPS Anabolic and you've followed the program two or three times and you're ready for more volume, more work, next level, more of a bodybuilding spin to your program, then you'd go more, then you'd go MAPS uh, Aesthetic. But all of them are designed to be able to follow one. Yeah, we another. wrote, a, you did a thing where I think uh, Rachel saved it on the highlights on the main page. So we get a question, and I wanted, that's why I wanted to pick this question is so we could share on the podcast because I don't think we have, and we get questions like this a lot, especially when I do my q and I answer a lot of these mm -hmm. questions. And she, uh, well, Sal sat down and wrote out, you know, the way we created them, the the natural progression from program to program, or if you have specific goals, like ideally what programs would you couple together in what order? And so if you go to the, the Mind Pump Media IG and you look at the saved highlights, um, the saved stories or whatever, uh, there's a, a whole bunch of different examples of whatever your goal may be, what programs would fit best, or if you are planning on going through all of them, what is the consecutive order that you should right. follow? Right. Now, I will say this for people listening. Uh, one of the best things you could do for your fitness is to sit down and write out and construct yourself a workout. And every two to four months, change your workout and the change isn't just exercises that's part of it but the change should be uh go uh, your goal your target goal so if your target goal for the for this three you know months is you know maximum strength in 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 the three lifts the bench press squat and deadlift all right you design your program around that then the next program you you create for yourself after that three months is over might be okay now i'm looking more for athletic performance maybe some better mobility. I'll do that for the next three months. And then after that, you could say, okay, I think I'm going to train now more like a bodybuilder. I'm going to sculpt my body. And and that what that produces over time is a is superior results and a great balanced physique. Because one of the one of the ways you plateau is by do, hammering the same goal over mm -hmm. and over without changing a little bit. And we, we wrote the programs with the same concept of how we would train clients towards the end of our career, right? The beginning of our career, I think we we, we fell into a lot of similar things that other totally. personal training. But it is it is a culmination of all three of ours' experience. And when we wrote it, we wrote it with in mind thinking that the ideal is to give not only take you through something, but also give you the tools to where you can create a program. So probably the most common thing that people buy is our, our RGB, which is the you know MAPS Anabolic, MAPS Performance, and MAPS Aesthetic bundle that we have together. And the idea is that is to take you through about a year's worth of training on how we would transition and phase you through right. all the different types of mo modalities, regardless of what your goal is, and it'd be most beneficial. Most people that have gone all the way through all three of those get the concept of how you now put together your own program. It takes a lot for the consumer to, to trust, you, you know, put their trust out there and to do something that's uncomfortable and they're unfamiliar with. And so again, yeah, we, we try to, to write something that, you know, would, would first and foremost would appeal to what your goals are and what you're trying to accomplish, but also introduce you to new concepts, new ideas, new ways of moving your body that will even, you know, take you even further. So you'll never reach that plateau period where it's like, man, I'm just not getting the kind of results I was getting before. We try and take you along that journey. So you just keep going and, and keep moving forward.